Joe, you've got some history against Maryland a little bit. The only guy on the team with that. So does that help you a little bit preparing? You feel like, um, hey, I know what this guy does. I know what that guy does. Yeah, I mean, they have a bunch of new players, but they have like three three starters there that I played against last year. Uh, Hakeem Hart, um, Dante Scott, and Reese. Um, you know, they're, they're all really good players. Um, and, you know, I, I'm just using a scout that I got from last year, you know, against them. I probably won't be guarding them unless it's like a switch situation. But, you know, I know what they do. Um, you know, I know I know how we can guard them. And, you know, like you said, you may not be going head-to-head -head against them, but you're familiar with them. You're familiar with maybe some of the sets, some of the things they run, which hand they like to go to, things like that. Does that help? And do you notice, say, when somebody else on the other team has played against you before, that they've got a better idea of what you do? Uh, yeah. Um, I, they have a whole new coaching staff, so I don't know if they will run the same things. Um, you know, uh, I just know everything comes back to a ball screen. So, you know, it, it's a ball screen for Jameer or ISO, you know, for, for the two good guys that they have or three good guys that they have down low. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be tough preparing for them because obviously it's a new year. You know, everybody gets better. So it's going to be tough. But, you know, I think, I think we do a, we're going to do a really good job on them. Coach Huggins has talked about that the past couple of years that, hey, the game's all ball screens now, one form or another. And obviously there's different ways you can defend it. You can hedge, double the ball, fade off of the screen, go over, go under. Is there one or the other of those tactics that you feel more comfortable with? What do you feel you execute the best? Um... I mean, to be honest, we, we had success in all of them, to be honest with you. I mean, we just all got to be bought in, you know what I mean? I mean, if we're trapping, everybody going to know, all right, we're trapping. If we're hard hedging, okay, everybody going to know we're hard hedging, you know what I mean? We just got to be all in and into what we're doing. Is that communication, too, as much on the court that you know, hey, this time down or these trips, we're defending it this way against this group of people? Yeah, mostly that's on me and Kitty. You know, if it, if it goes wrong, that's on me and Kitty. You know, we got to do a better job communicating. You know, if people don't hear us, we got to, you know, do something to make sure they, they know what they're doing. Is that hard? I mean, it seems like that's hard to do, especially, you know, if you're playing in an arena, it's really loud, heat of the competition, uh, you know, getting that communication, making sure everybody's zoned in on each other. I mean, yeah, that's all I like every dead ball. I just go up to guys, you know, and just start talking to them, you know, just telling them, you know, the next player, telling them the next def uh, just defensive possession, what are we doing and things like that. So I just, any chance I get, you know, I go up to them and talk to them like, yo, we're doing this, yo, we're doing this, you know what I mean? Just try to get them. And I, if I can't tell them, I'll be like, yo, tell him that, tell him that, tell, tell him that, you know what I mean? So just communication on my part. What do you look forward to the most part about running out on the court tomorrow? NCAA tournament, you know, hey, even though it's in the afternoon, it's uh, you know on a weekday, whatever, you know, there's going to be all kinds of people watching it. Yeah, I mean, I'm just excited. This is my, this would have been my fourth year straight if COVID had hit my freshman year, but I was in the tournament every single year, so I'm, I'm just excited to get back on the court. You know, I, I remember those nerves running. You know, I remember my excitement, my adrenaline. You know, when I got on the court, I was, I was excited. You know, I was ready to play. You know, and I, I played well every time I, I stepped on the floor. I played well. You know, and I'm ready to keep that tradition going. Do you do anything specific to get over those early nerves, or do you, when it comes down to it, do you have to say, okay, this is, after all, just another basketball game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what it is. You know, I'm just, you know, I'm just, I wouldn't say nervous. I just say I'm really excited. You know, I'm really excited to play. And you know, once once the ball, you know, tips in, then that's not my, like, right, you know, it's time to it's time to give it away.